Hello, this is Justin from the Dynamo Project, and uh, I'm here to show you in this screencast um, all the fancy new features you will be finding in version 9 of Dynamo, which is currently in beta. Uh, version 9 um, almost exclusively uh, focuses on the front end of data mail, uh, what you see in your web browser. Uh, last major version, version 8, focuses on the back end, all the stuff you don't see. Um, so that means I get to show you pretty things that you'll notice right away. Um, I'm in the this control panel for a mailing list in uh, data mail, and uh, let's take a little tour. Um, the first thing you might notice is that uh, the left-hand menu that has been used in Dynamail since version one um, is now gone. And that um, the navigation used to get to the various screens and the list control panel are now in the top menu right here. So if you uh, kind of mouse over them, uh, they'll reveal you know, all the screens. Hopefully this will uh, make things a lot easier to focus on the screen at hand and uh, kind of hide the complexities of the application for you. But if, um, if you need to know like say which screen I am, um, just like the, the side menu, um, the, the current screen is highlighted for you, um, and all these things like uh, how many stationaries I have or drafts, how many mass mailings, these are all, all this kind of live information is, is still available for you. How many members I have, things like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, so the send a, send a list uh, screen was one of the more um, kind of a complex and cluttered. Uh, screens in Dynamail, and we tried really hard to simplify it, make it easier to work with, and uh, clear to understand. So, if you look, there's there's not much to the screen anymore. Um, not much below where you author a message, um, but we do have four tabs. So, for a mailing list uh, message, Dynamail supports writing an HTML version, a plain text version. It supports attachments, and there's a few options. And all the options are now in the options tab instead of below. And uh, we have options for archiving the message, sending to only part of your list, and testing um, the mailing me list message out by just sending it to an email. So uh, it's still available, but it uh, should be easier to navigate. So we're, we're pretty happy with how it came out. Um, and as before, there's a toolbar to do it, the actual sending the message or just a test, save as a draft, a stationary, or just schedule it for a later time. That's pretty cool. And just like before, this, this, uh, that toolbar will float above. So if you want to like get a little bit more of workspace, you can, and then once you're done, you know, send it away or you know, remove it, whichever you want. So okay, so that's uh, the new send a message screen. Uh, let's see, let's see what else we can check out. Um, let's check out. Let's go to the plugins. So uh, Dynamail comes with a whole bunch of plugins and extensions. Uh, both free Dynamail and pro Dynamail come with the same plugins. So uh, that's awesome. Uh, one of the more powerful plugins is the tracker menu. Uh, allows you to see uh, reports on how many people opened a message, click through, forward it, if there's any bounces, any sending errors, things like that. I'm going to actually switch to a different list. And that's how you switch to a different list in uh, Dynamo version 9. Awesome. And let's go to the tracker plugin. Awesome. Just like before, we try to make things um, as clean and clear as possible. So first thing you'll see is a table of the most recent messages we sent out and then a graph showing kind of the performance and then uh, the options to change how we, you know, this, this plugin interacts with your messages. Okay, so let's uh, select an individual campaign we did and here's a... Uh, cool. So the first thing we see are um, kind of pie charts showing uh, um, how many messages got received, most... Um, how many people open it, about 14%, and uh, who still subscribed, which is almost everyone. So, I don't know, that was a pretty good campaign. Um, we didn't lose many subscribers. Um, our list is really clean, and a lot of people opened the message. And if we want to drill down a little further, we can, and get some numbers. And if we really want to drill down, we can get, like, everything we possibly would want. And that's pretty cool. Um, graphs are nice and big, um, really kind of fun to look at, um, give you some great feedback, you know, like, okay, world map. Who's click throwing and where are they click throwing? Something's happening over there. <laughs> it's, it's always bizarre. Um, so that's cool. Um, we did a lot of work to make sure that like there's a lot of information. It's dense in information, but it's still easy to understand, easy to look through. And um, if if this is enough, you can always export a lot of this information via CSV. Um, other than to make things pretty prettier um, in version nine. Um, 
uh, Dynamail now has a responsive front end. So if you want to check this out on your mobile phone, um, you can do that now without actually having to squint or kind of like, you know, navigate bizarrely with your finger trying to figure out everything. So uh, we can sort of emulate that in, in the browser. Let's go with, let's go with iPhone. Okay, so if, and restart. So if I was uh, to look at the screen in the iPhone, um, this is probably what I'd see, something similar to this. So if you notice the, uh, that top bar up top, it's gone because uh, it's, it just doesn't work very well in mobile. Instead, we have a, uh, a, a, slide, a sidebar that uh, gets out of the way when we're using it, and we can call up just by clicking the, the hamburger menu, and it has every single you know, thing we possibly uh, want to check out, just like the, the regular navigation bar. Um, okay, that goes. And if you see, our uh, actual layout has changed too. Instead of a you know a three column layout for the for the first pie charts, we get um, them all in their own little row, but they're still big enough to uh, kind of look at and understand. And then that table before is right here. And then we get a little top navigation if we want to check out individual things. So say I want to check out the opens, can kind of zoom right out and check out the opens or sending errors, yeah, things like that. Oh, good. None. <laughs> Fantastic. Or go back to you know regular subscriber activity. So the idea is that all that information, all that you know dense dense data is still available and easy to kind of understand on the mobile. And this is uh, kind of true for all the screens in Dynamail. We did a lot of work to make it usable and enjoyable on the mobile. So even the send a message screen, which has a lot of stuff going on, um, is usable enough uh, to work with on mobile. So we can check, uh, you know, set our subject and then write our message. Um, the WYSIWYG editors should work as well. Um, instead of tabs, we have like an accordion kind of uh, navigation. So you can just check out the plain text version, see all our options. And uh, it kind of all works in mobile, which is pretty amazing. So, like I said, that's for all the screens that are available. Um, let's check out another screen. Let's go to um, sending options, and let's check out. Um, yeah, where are you? Uh, just the regular options. So, like before, it's it's very easy to see what's going on and how to change things. So we use SES to send mail because it's awesome, um, and all the functionality from uh, the desktop versions uh, available here, and including verify, verifying an address. Um, it's all kind of responsive. So if I get out of this screen and go back to the desktop mode, you can see that the whole interface has um, changed as well. So I now have the top bar available and all the little UE, UE widgets and everything kind of fill up the space. Still looks great, still is usable, um, and we're really happy with this. So all these screens have been rewritten to uh, work both in desktop, actually I should say in desktop, tablet, mobile, and probably anything and everything in between. Um, pretty happy about it. Um, we're hoping that this makes Dynamail a whole lot more attractive to use, um, more enjoyable, um, and actually, you know, and you know, we can think of all sorts of sorts of uh, kind of um, use cases where uh, you know you you you're on your desktop, or your laptop, and you you know shoot out a mass mailing, and then you want to like go to lunch, but you kind of want to keep tabs on it, so you open up the mailing monitor and uh, make sure your message is going out correctly. And that mailing monitor um, and all the functionality will work on mobile, just as it did on your desktop. But it'll be great for your mobile phone, which is fantastic. So. That's, uh, that's all I have to really show you today. Um, uh, version 9 is in beta. Um, it's available right now. You can download and install it. Um, the, uh, the system requirements for your hosting account haven't changed at all. Um, all the features that you're um, used to in version 8 should be there for version 9. So upgrading should be a breeze. If you can install version 8 of Dynamail, you can install version 9. And if you don't like version 9 or there's a bug you can't get through, um, you can probably easily downgrade from version 9 to version 8 and get along with your business. So I encourage you to uh, check it out. We'll have a, um, a stable release uh, coming out in a few weeks, I hope, and lots of uh, new uh, and exciting uh, things to share with you in the very soon future. <laughs> okay, well, this is Justin, uh, lead designer and developer of .ml. 
um, just say enough. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.